Hello, I want to make a small tutorial for those who want to get into AI art generation. Uh, this is for NMKD Stable Diffusion GUI. And everything that we're going to do here, once you get it all downloaded and installed, everything happens on your computer. So you don't need to worry about the internet or use Midjourney or use Dolly for your AI art generation. You can do it just at home with no internet on your computer so that's what we're going to do here and by the end of this video you'll be able to generate an image just like this so let's close that up and let's get to some downloads um, all of these links will be down below in the description in order from uh, from which I use use them so this first one will be the HIO link for the uh, for the software so we're going to hit download now uh, you can donate to the creator of this or just hit no thanks up on top and you are going to want to download uh, SD GUI dot 1.9.1 with the 1.5 model okay so you're gonna hit that and it is going to take a while to download <laughs> so uh, get ready for that so what we are going to do is come into our download folder here we go and now we have SDG 1.9.1. So we are going to extract this. And while we do that, let's go ahead and get a spot on our computer where we could get everything installed, right? So over here on this NVMe drive I have, I have a whole section dedicated to AI. So I would suggest you do something like that. Just find a fast drive, something like an SSD or an NVMe SSD. Make a new folder. I'm just going to name this AI2. Okay. So everything we're going to do is going to be in this AI2 folder. And make sure when you set something up, the the um, the extension up here is really short. So if you see here, I saw V drive and it's AI2, so it's really short. So make sure it's something like that as well. Um, I'm not sure why. It's just. I read that's better, so I just stick with what I read. Um, it's almost open or uh, extracted. Now, you know what? While we wait for this to download, we are going to come to the next link down below. And it's going to be for Civit AI. So if we just come over here, this is the home page. You go and make an account. We're going to come up once you make an account. Hit this little uh, filter button up here, and you're going to um, choose if you want to be in safe mode or adult mode or everything. And we're going to have checkpoint clicked. There we go. Because this software can only use checkpoint. You know everything that's labeled under checkpoint. So that's what we're going to do. So we could find all of these models here. Now for this exercise, we are going to download, um, where did it go? Uh, this one, RFKTR's Dark Dream. So go ahead and hit the download button right there. And again, this is probably gonna take a little bit to download. Okay. We'll, we'll get back to that once we get to that point. So I'm going to take SDG 1.9.1 and just drop it into this AI folder we have. And that's going to take a bit. So let's, uh, let's get back to this. So models are what, when you type here a prompt, it's going to pull information from those models to generate the image that you want to make. So in this case, if we look at some of the example images, they're pretty dark, gritty, um, pretty realistic. So this is the, the kind of stuff you can expect with this model, right? But if we come back to the home page and see the sticker art, right? The prompts will give us things that come out more like stickers. So if you want something that's more uh, anime related, you know, we're going to click on this, see anime. So that's what the models are. 
So in this case, we are going for this dark gritty one. Okay, it's moved over. First thing we're going to do is open up SCG 1i1. Now, when we open this up, you're not going to mess with any files in here at all. Keep everything as it is. If for some reason there is a problem, I suggest to keep your compressed version of 1.1. Just, just keep it somewhere safe. Just in case you do run into a problem, you have it on hand. Okay, so we're going to open it up. Uh, we're going to open up Stable Diffusion GUI. Okay. This is the welcome box that pops up. And now we are in. Now what we're first going to do is hit the wand button up here. And it's going to tell you, hey, you don't have some stuff installed. So just hit yes. And we're going to install these three packs. Um, you know what? Let's do the... Oh, I think that's already installed. Yeah, okay. So we're going to install all of these. Hit install. And um, download Stable Diffusion Onyx. These are only needed for... Okay, well, I don't have AMD GPU, so I'm going to hit no. Do it for download the upscale. Uh, sure. Okay, so down here in the bottom left corner, you can see the progress bar. Okay. So that's installing. Now what we're going to do is when you download this, it'll come out as this file right here. RFKTR's Dark Dream. Now look at the file extension. It's a .safe tensors file. When you download files from this website, you are looking for .safe tensors and .cfk. Yeah, cfk. Now, the software will read .cfk files just fine. That's what we want. It will not read safe tensors, but there's an easy way to convert it from safe tensors to cfk. So, inside of scg191, we're going to open the data folder and go to models. Now, you can do some AI generation without downloading this model because you did download the version that came with the 1.5 model. That's right here. But if you want to do more things, that's why we're, sh we're going over this in this tutorial. So I'm going to move this model we have right to the models folder. Okay. Let's come back over here. It looks like everything installed. So I'm going to close that. Okay, we're ready to go. If I click on this cog up here, come to Stable Diffusion Model, there is the 1.5 file we have. Notice the other file, this uh, dark dream is not in here. That's because it's not a .ckpt file. That's what it is. I'm going to hit the wrench, go to Convert Models, Save Tensors, and now our dark dream one appears because if we click on the uh, folder button, data slash models, that's the default folder that appears. So you could add more folders if you want. But the default is data slash models. That's why I told you to put it in here. Notice it's data slash models, just because it's easier. Okay, so we're going to click Save Tensors, the name of the model, and we're going to hit Convert. I'll let it convert. And once it's done converting, we don't need a safe tensors file anymore. And this one's seven, uh, two gigs. You'll find others there, three, four, five, six, seven gigabytes. So once it's done converting, you'll probably want to delete the safe tensor file because it does take up a lot of space. Okay, there we go. It, uh, it did it perfectly. I'm just going to delete that because that's two gigs. I don't want to, you know, blow. Okay. So, in here, I am going to click the cog and change over to Dark Dream. Now we're ready to actually start typing in prompts. So, um, so I'm just going to type in robot. You know, just robot. I'm going to make five robots. I'm going to leave everything else default. We don't really need to mess with any of that right now. Just hit generate and just see what happens. Now, Eventually, you may have a giant list of models in here. And every time you want to click a new one, 
If you look down here, oh, we're still downloading more stuff. <laughs> but every time you start a new uh, generation with a different model, the first one always takes the longest to make. And after that, they start popping them out real fast. Okay, so now we're getting some robots. Okay. As you can see, none of these look like the, these images. You know, these look way nicer, right? We're not there yet. Now, if you were to right click the file, then open output folder. This is like where these are saved. It's saved in SCG191 slash images slash robot. So if we come all the way back to our AI folder, SCG, SCG, click on images. Here is our prompt, robots. And this is where all of our images are stored. Okay. Now if you want, you can just delete that entire folder. You know, now they're gone. And if you use your scroll wheel in the software, just scroll up and down. Boom, see? It can't show you other files because we already deleted it, right? Okay. So what we are going to do is look at some negative prompts and look at the other pieces of information that are um, over here. So let's open up a new, an image, scroll through, and on Civit AI, some images like this one, um, we don't have any prompt information over here. See this? It's empty. But if I hit the next button, I can see the prompts that created this image. Same with this one. Okay, so I want to redo this one, okay? So I'm gonna copy these prompts and paste it over here. So these are the yes prompts, these are the negative prompts. Negative prompts are essentially um, things that you don't want to appear. And for this one, here's a negative prompt. Oh, and if you tap or click inside of a box, hold control, you use your scroll wheel to make the text bigger. Look at that, bigger and smaller. I'm scrolling up and down. So if we look at the yes prompt for this, we have award-winning portrait photo of a female rogue assassin. That's not a female rogue assassin, but okay. Uh, wearing biomechanical me tech wear. Um, then we get here to backlighting. Notice this says backlighting colon 1.4. Um, this was generated in probably a different piece of software. Uh, NMKD does not, you know what? No, it does read 1.4. My bad. I'm not very smart, but in this case, we want it to be touching the text exactly. See that? So if there's a space, that's no good. If there's an underscore, not good. We want it to be touching the exact thing. And what does this mean? This means that it's going to give this word more precedence over everything else, okay? Now, if you don't want to type in 1.4, you can also type in a plus sign. A plus sign adds 0.1 to the word. So now this gives it like a 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4. See that? You can keep spamming it. And if you keep spamming it, your outcome is going to become super weird, okay? So keep it to like three or four max. Okay, so I'm going to come through this, do do do, shadow depth of field, again you can leave as 1.1, or come out here and add plus. Now you can do it to any of these words as well. So digital painting, if I do that, it only gives the bonus to the word painting. See that? If I only did 1.1, again, only the word painting gets the bonus. Okay. Now, if I want to digital painting, I could do, you know, this and this, right? Or I could put the parentheses and then put the plus. And now that plus will work with the everything inside. So see that? All this will get the plus. So that's one way to do it. Um, same thing down here. Now, the negative prompt is saying, hey, don't make bad art. And don't let there be artifacts. So that's essentially what that's saying. Okay. This amount of images to make, that's just how many is you're going to make when you hit generate. So you could, you know, type in 100, whatever. That's going to be a lot, right? Default is 5 for a reason because it gives you a good start or base to start. 
we have generation steps. Now this goes really high. What does generation steps, what does it do, right? So I have this other link down below that I'll show you. If you have one step, that's what it's going to make. You know, this is a, a panda playing guitar. As you add more, the panda becomes more detailed, right? But if you add too much, watch what happens. It gets super sharpened and kind of nasty. So if we, yeah. Oh, that's for the, the scale, my bad, not the steps, for the scale. And if you hover over the scale, the software will say uh, higher, tries to match your prompt better, but it can get chaotic. And seven to 12 is a uh, safe range, right? So I'm just gonna drag it to 10, whatever. Well, actually, let's stick to what the image says. 9.5, okay. We have steps at 30. Um, I don't have a fancy thing to show steps. I mean, I, I usually, usually just use 60, it's whatever. Uh, seed, now zero or empty means random, right? Then seed zero, one, two, do, 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 right? So I'll copy the seed that this image had. This is uh, pixels with the width and height. So it's gonna be an image uh, that has a ratio of one to one. That's 512 by 512. Here are samplers. I'm not super knowledgeable of this. Uh, I usually use Euler Ancestral or DPM++ to Ancestral. In this case, the guy used DPM++ to M, and we don't have that. Uh, the closest we have is to Ancestral. I don't know what that means again, it, but it just works, right? Okay, 512 by 512, okay. Let's hit generate. So remember we had those really bad robots earlier. Let's see what we have now. There we go, look at that. Already it's a lot closer to this one, right? And essentially at that point, we, we have what we're looking for. Okay, we're gonna hit cancel. Um, what I want to do, well, I'll show you more stuff, right? I'm going to change the seed, whatever, and set the max image to 1280 by 1280. And then hit high resolution fix because void duplications, sure, whatever. <laughs> Let's do that. And if you want to, you can hit the magic wand button and you can upscale your image up to four times. So instead of being 1280 by 1280, multiply that by four for X and Y. Or you could do a uh, face restoration. So if you're making faces, you know, hit that and it makes it nicer. But for now, I'm just going to hit generate for there. And let's see what else I want to look at. Okay. How do you know what to do for the prompts? Because some of them can get super fancy, super detailed. So like what I showed you earlier, when you type in robot, you get very generic things. Type in all this stuff. You get something a lot nicer, right? So what we're going to do, I'm going to take you to the NMKD Discord channel. If I could pull it down here, here we go. So this is the official Discord. Um, if you have any questions, come down here to Stable Diffusion GUI and just ask questions. You know, you're going to get help in here. Um, and up here, we also have software updates. So whenever there is an update, it's going to be posted here, right? But if we come down, to SFW Dreams, we're going to see images that people have posted. So what we're going to do is open up the image that someone made, right click, save, just put on the desktop, right? What we can go ahead and do is drag that image here on this website, jimpl.com. Okay. And scroll down and look at this. We have the pro everything used to make it. We can see the name of the model. We see the yes prompt. If we bring this all the way down, it's right there. We see the negative prompt. Now you're going to see this one has multiple parentheses. Uh, that's the old way of uh, giving uh, priority. So instead of pluses, there were parentheses. 
So just, you know, you can switch them out. But like there's a negative prompt. So if you want to try to recreate this image, you can download the model, follow the settings, throw them all in here, and you're good to go. That came out pretty nice. Look at that. Another way to do it is let's say we closed it, right? Minimize everything for us real quick. Mm. Let's open the software again. Let's say I made an image or I downloaded one else that someone else made and I want to know what that is, right? So this is the image we made and I want to know the data for it. I could upload it to the website or I could drag it in where load image says. And look at this. I can set the settings to load image and use settings for metadata. Hit OK. Look at this. Hit the down button. Now it doesn't set the model for us, right? It's, it's like this for me because that's what it was last time. But the yes prompt, negative prompt, everything is all the same. That made that image. And these images, remember, were made at a little resolution. Let's drag this one instead. Hit yes. And look, they're 512 by 512 now. And it's the same seed that that image was made. So that's another way. Just drag and drop. So one thing people like to do, or that I like to do, is simply save prompts and edit them as I have to. Like, um, here on my Discord. I have a whole section dedicated to prompts. So here's one for a different model, right? And here's another one right there. So I quickly just went to my Discord, copied my yes and no prompts that I use for a different model. So if you want to, I'll throw my Discord in there as well. But we have a whole section dedicated to safe for work art environments and then not safe for work stuff. But we have a whole section for helpful info for links, uh, different models you can download, and different prompts. So I'll throw that in there as well if you want to ask questions and just join us. Um, so if you see, this one says Hulk destroying pyramids. Obviously this model doesn't have much information. <laughs> um, well, there's the Hulk as a robot, I guess. So somehow I did that right. There you go. Um, let me see if I have anything else for you. I'll leave the uh, GitHub help information or NMKD down below. Um, like if you come down to a prop, uh, prop input, it talks about the pluses and the negatives and stuff like that. Um, through here, you'll also be able to learn about things like in painting or wild cards. So just more things you could use to customize your experience. So that'll be there as well. Uh, I'll throw this link in as well if you want to play the slider. Okay, yeah, uh, I think that's it. By the end of this, yeah, you'll learn how to make all these images. I hope this helped you. Have a good one.